Hey everyone, this is Todd Ima. All four of us are here and this is a little bit of a different episode than what you might be used to. Uh, so we recently found out about some pretty shocking news. I think mm. this is maybe the safest way to say it. It's, <laughs> it's kind of a really big deal, honestly. Mm. Um, but as you all know, on Terrace House, there's that panel of six that we all love. One of whom is Tokui, who we talk about a lot on our show. He always comes up with some really funny stuff. Uh, but he did a very unfunny thing we learned in the past maybe seven years where he's been kind of evading his taxes. Mm. Hooray. <laughs> you just just so that you know, especially our, our American listeners might be confused about that considering things and politics. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed you're supposed to pay your taxes. Just it's saying. bad, okay? It's a bad thing. Yeah, it's a pretty Especially bad all Japan. over. So maybe he's just like, I, you know, tax is theft, so I'm just not going to pay him. <laughs> yeah, tax tax is theft. No. Um, but let's no, discuss the story pay your first. Taxes, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Let's let's yeah. let's, let's break so, down the story. Let's discuss the facts yeah. here. Yeah. So let's break this down, right? So he uh, he's he started a company called Tulip Co Limited, I believe. It started in '09, and then from 2012 to 2015 ish. Uh, well, basically through a tax audit, they found all this stuff. But so for those three years, he did not report 20 million yens worth of concealed income, which was a lot of like travel expenses, clothing expenses that he wrote off. Like they're personal ones, but he wrote them off as work expenses. Entertainment expenses. Yeah. Because it works in the company. Yeah. For this company. Right. Which, by the way, he's the sole founder and the sole employee and employer of. Ah, he's company just the one, one. person. And yeah. you know it's not mm -hmm. um, it's not uncommon. That's a common thing too. So that's not necessarily shady, you know, mm -hmm. to have that going on, especially when you have kind of an unconventional career path, right? Mm -hmm. So you know, it's, you're in certain tax brackets, and so you get charged certain ways. And he basically said, I think I read an article, I read a few articles on this, but he said, "Well, I'm a comedian," and the way he rationalized his head, "Well, I'm a comedian. I need to experience things to get material for my comedy and for my writing. So I figured traveling and doing all these things fell within that bracket." I just right. forgot to write it down <laughs> once a year Whoops. when it comes time for taxes. Yikes. Yeah, just kind of let's conveniently not remember to do that. Right? Yeah. And from 2016 to 2018, that number went up to 118 million yen in income that he Yikes. just happened to not report. Um. The point of, at the point of this recording, he's held a press conference and he's apologized profusely to the masses and he has paid not only all of the money he owes, but also an additional tax of 34 million yen, which mm. all said and done definitely tallies up to like, I want to say one and a half million ish. It's close dollars. to that. Yeah. And I read something it's too bank. that he, he had already paid that like at the beginning of this year. Did anyone else see anything like that? Like it's, this isn't like it's coming to the news recently, but it's been resolved kind of like a while, it was like resolved months ago. Is what I read. Okay. Yeah. So I wonder how, but yeah. it's all coming to light now and he's doing the deep bow, the deep bow, you know, you fucked up in Japan when you got deep bow for like five, six. So seconds. I wonder it's bad. If he resolved this that long ago, right? Like, I mean, taxes tend to be a relatively private thing. So how, I wonder how the, the public got a hold of it. I wonder if it was because like maybe it went through the police or something like that and they had it in like a police blotter or something like that. Do you guys get the sense they were trying to maybe, I mean, obviously he doesn't want it to go public, but do you think that he got the sense that he was hoping it got buried and then when he realized that it, there's no way to hide it that he had to publicly address it? What do you guys think? I, I have no idea. I, well, I'm, I'm just curious as to how the, the news media outlets even got a hold of the story in the first place. How they what, like? I wonder who what the whistleblower was on the information. Um, whistleblower. Or whatever you want to call it. Uh, mm. The lead, so to speak. Uh, because, I mean, obviously we know it now. It's very public and he's had to apologize because it's hit the media. Um, so I wonder if it was like someone brought it up or he outed himself about it or i mean i highly doubt that um well so I'm, yeah go ahead daily i mean if i remember correctly um like tax scandals like these like they do get a lot of notoriety whereas i think that even if it's public information it might usually get buried if it's not a person in the you know like public eye but a couple years back i believe 
someone someone that was behind an anime i think oh yeah log horizon log horizon the yeah. creator i was gonna bring this up busted and he actually went to jail i believe for well, tax fraud so yeah the guy's name is daisuke umezu his pen name is mamare tono so he writes this light novel called log horizon which is one of another isekai if you follow anime you know exactly what it is but essentially he's been he's been writing it since i want to say 2011 and it's been adapted into manga and uh, two seasons of anime, I believe. Um, but it's not he great anime wasn't yeah. my favorite. No, yeah, it is basically sword art, but not bad. <laughs> um, so anyway, he he neglected to file uh, 122 million yen in taxes mm -hmm. um, from royalties over three years from when he started doing Log Horizon. So it's it's a pretty comparable like number, right? It's pretty similar to what Toku is going through here, and he ended up uh, Tono ended up going through house arrest, not Yikes. prison. He was put on house arrest with the this. anklet and everything. Yeah. Right. Yep. Well, he still writes it, as far as I know. I believe the light novel is still going on, but he did lose any. Like give you, yeah, give you perspective, like yeah, what kind of crime this is like what kind right. of mm -hmm. punishment might be yeah expected for this yeah uh the author he lost he lost all royalties to log horizon now so if you buy a log horizon dvd wow or like yeah, anything that's basically not the light novel i don't that, believe he makes money off it that was part of his sentence like you can't make money on this anymore that's really yeah. harsh yeah dang like forever that's yeah that's rough and it's history has shown that that the Japanese public uh, and the Japanese consumer really uh, they do tend to come down pretty hard on uh, public figures for any sort of crime really. Uh, I remember that when uh, in the video game world there was the guy who from Yakuza who got convicted of of you know possessing drugs and stuff like that. And as soon as he got caught, I mean, they scrubbed him from the game, patched in someone else. Like, it, they, they scrubbed him yeah. clean. I mean, he ended up going to the jail, and I'm pretty sure possessing drugs and, and doing drugs is a way bigger offense than probably what this is, what we're looking at with taxes. Oh. Um, Can cancel culture is pretty strong, it would seem, just on, you know, what we've seen in the historics. And yeah. I, I read a comment on the subreddit uh, post about this where someone said, Again, this is coming from them, not my words, but they said that um, CEOs and the big, big wigs tend to get a slap on the wrist. They do an apology. They do the deep bow and it tends to kind of blow over. But for like Torrentos, which is what Tokui is, it's pretty much you're blackballed, you're blacklisted. They ship you off. They relocate you to a smaller city where you just basically sit around there and, and don't really do anything until you retire. They go. They don't go so far as to fire you, but it's like being excommunicado in john wick right it's like might as well be you're living dead in a way so it's pretty Is harsh it? because this reminds me of a crime uh wesley snipes in the west got arrested for tax evasion he went to jail he doesn't really have much of a film career anymore. He, it is on the rise, but um, he was Blade, by the way. Wesley Snipes, mm -hmm. Pastor 57, always been on black. But anyways, I, uh, yeah, it's it's a different kind of crime and a different kind of punishment, it seems like, in Japan. They take it way more serious. It is a big deal, right. it seems so like. So I think the big question, though, that obviously, if you're listening to this, our listeners are going to ask is does this affect Tokui's stent on Terrace House being part of the panel, you know, offering commentary? Are we still going to see Tokui on the panel? We don't know yet, right? So, yeah. So, it's it's we're in this weird situation right now where for some of the cuz Tokui's on a ton of shows. Like if, if you only are familiar with him through Terrace House, he he does a lot, you know, he's part of yeah, a comedy a duo. Boy. Yeah, he's he's on similar panels for a ton of other like reality tv variety tv shows mm. um, he's suited for it he's, he's yes. good at it yes um he's almost as good at it as, evad as evading taxes I, and, I, uh, I will say this real quick um we might link this below maybe we should because i'm bringing it up now but there was a post very recently um yeah just like today actually at the time of this recording uh from oricon news that said that there are no broadcast changes for ntv4 programs like chuto mm -hmm. uh shibiyari and deep good story so it seems like it hasn't made too much of a dent in his appearances but uh as far as terrace house goes they haven't made any announcements yet fuji tv has not yet so it still yeah. i think is in play we just don't know yet 
It's this is a very fresh story mm. yeah. for for the public. Right. So if if Fuji TV and Netflix, because keep in mind Netflix owns the Terrace House name as much as, if not probably more than Fuji TV, kind of, because mm. Terrace House premieres on Netflix before it does on Fuji TV. Like if you live yeah. in Japan, you can watch it via Netflix earlier than right. via Fuji TV. But yeah, we don't know for sure what they plan on doing with um with him keeping his four other appearances there. We could see maybe Tokui just gets a slap on the wrist and also loses like 150 million yen. Yeah, pretty yeah. pretty good lump sum of cash. Well, I mean, like like we said, he already paid it back. So one of the, one of the things that uh like reading through all the articles about this coming out, I'm like, you know, it someone as big as Tokui who, you know, is famous and he's probably pretty well off too financially uh you think he would have yeah. some sort of financial advisor that helps him out with with doing taxes and and handling his finances and investments um it turns out he did or he does and he just disregarded him from the, from the sounds of it yeah so. so so the theme here from all the quotes from his public apology which that is that we'll get into that but that's a thing in japan when these scandals come out you're kind of expected to make public apology and do as jack has been saying the big bow the big mm -hmm. deep bow where you bow and you say Moshiwake gozaimasen. i'm sincerely sorry um he he mostly has put kind not i'm not gonna say it as an excuse because i totally get this personally but it was procrastination he got lazy he mm -hmm. he said um here's a quote i said i would do it but i kept putting it off Though I had the intention to pay the tax due to my unimaginable sloppiness, a day passed and then a week and then a month and now three years. <laughs> uh, yeah. So it, here's OK. First blanket statement. OK. Um, I love this guy. I really do personally, just from what I know about him on Terrace House. I really have very fond feelings uh, about Tokui. He's one of my favorite panelists. He's super funny. I love his stories. So, you know, separate from that, you know, I think that. I'm really just surprised by this because personally in what I'm reading, I just think that he is kind of sorry he got caught, right? That's my take on this. Yeah. Because three years and not paying any taxes and then putting all this personal expenses on it, like it's a very conscious thing when you put something on an, ex an expense like that. I don't know. It just seems like, yeah, unimaginably sloppy, unimaginably irresponsible, but also I don't think this was an accident either, you know, and tax evasion, mm. you know, it is a it is a white collar crime, but it's not a victimless crime. Right. I mean, everyone else is paying their taxes. Everyone else is chipping in. And, right. you know, he's got it and he's benefiting from being a, a public celebrity, too. You know, so, I mean, he's and Japan is a collectivist society. So that's why it's even more big deal, I think, over there. Um, so right. I'm just I am just disappointed by the whole thing. But I don't buy the thing. They're just like, oh, I, I was going to get around to it. I just I honestly think he's sorry he got caught necessarily maybe not sorry that mm. it happened right yeah because i mean here in america if if someone evades their taxes like we functionally understand from a legal perspective that yes that is wrong that is illegal can get you jail time but there are definitely americans out there who who are you know thinking but that's my money right like right because america is a very individualist society in japan mm -hmm. not quite right like this this mm. idea is a like socially speaking makes him look even worse than what you might be thinking if you're from america for example like you notice a lot of his apology here is specifically to the citizens like he says here quote right. i sincerely apologize for not being able to pay the appropriate tax due to my sloppiness and neglectfulness causing great inconvenience to citizens who are properly paying tax yeah, it's almost a crime right. against the public in a way, right? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. it's not just like, I'm sorry because I fucked up. It's, I'm sorry because I have done something irre irreparably bad for society. He made up for it. He paid his fine, right? Mm -hmm. He's trying to make good. Mm -hmm. But it's just like, I wonder how long this will continue. <laughs> yeah, and I want If nothing ever came Yeah, up. and I wonder how it's going to be handled legally, at what kind of punishment, if at all is going to come out of this i mean obviously there's got to be some sort of legal ramifications i uh, i know he's already paid sort of some sort of fee as well i don't know if he's gonna like have to pay i don't know pay to bail and stuff out i'm not sure if how that stuff works him being off the show is not off the table either too we just don't know yet it's too early i mean they're on a what like a five-week delay so i guess japan is gonna find out in five weeks 
Knicks. At least, yeah. So I, you know, if he's on the show, I or wonder not. if it's just going to be like an abrupt thing where if if he does in fact get taken off the show, uh, is he just not going to be there? Is it going to be like a goodbye thing? Is he just going to not be on the show and they're just not going to acknowledge it? They're just going to move forward. <laughs> I mean, it's are they going to pull an ant? Are they going to pull an Aunt Viv on Fresh Prince of Bel Air? <laughs> Just like they don't oh, acknowledge no. it, just another actor, and then they just call yeah. him Tokui. Yeah, like Tokui that, too. I Bizarro mean, universe. But, but look, look at the way that they just handled. Like there was like concern that it's like Yama's not going to be as nasty anymore because mm, he got married. Right. And it's like they had a whole thing in order to address that. Like I really feel like that entire segment was less like let's celebrate the fact that Yama got married and more. Okay, guys. Yeah, nothing's gonna change. Here's the right. concerns from the public. So I really feel like they're we're going. They're not gonna sweep this under the rug. It's this too public. Gonna, yeah. It's too public. Yeah, the marriage mm-hmm. thing. The concern was again. I said it before. I said it again. It really surprised me. The concerns from the public when Yama got married. It was, it was pretty intense. Strange. Yeah. 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 Right. Because Tokui is a main member of the panel. Like I don't know if you guys remember back in the day with boys and girls in the city. There was the the very little boy. Who is the boy prince for that early part of that season? Yes. I don't even remember his name. Sure, but no. I can't remember. He just no. disappeared one week, and his his fanfare farewell was Tori saying, "Oh, he had to go to school. That's it, <laughs> right? That's it. Like, but that, that's that adorable. Kind of, like, never to return to get back again. To school. Yeah, <laughs> but nonetheless, that was like, I, I mean, that's a little unexpected, but okay, sure, because he didn't contribute much anyway, and he doesn't seem like a main member of the panel. But Tokui mm-hmm. has been there since almost day one. You know, he, mm-hmm. he wasn't there early in the beginning, but he's core. He, here's something to think about with that, okay? Let's imagine a world, best case scenario, where he comes back, you know? He's welcome back to the show. He's there. It's got to color his takes from today moving forward. Like, he can't sit there and, you know, preach responsibility and preach being mature and preach doing what's right all the time. It's always going to be colored by this. I think by the audience that knows that is savvy to what's going on in the background. So I don't see how it can't change the way he talks about things on Terrace House. I don't so, know. What do you guys think about uh, that? My my question. Is, I'm gonna I'm gonna answer your question with another question. So say they're still okay with Tokui being on the show and they keep him on, right? And say they even go as far as having Tokui apologize on an episode of the show. You know, after. I you know, like on the ne- yeah, that, exactly. Yeah. On the next recording that they have, the next mm-hmm. recording session that they have post, uh, I guess, PR crisis. Uh, mm-hmm. Would you guys be okay with him still being on the show? Are you guys okay with it, or not so much? I want him. Yeah, I want him on the show. Okay. Mm-hmm. I want him back. I want to forgive him. He paid his debt, and whatever happens, you know, if he has to go under house arrest, if he has to, you know go away for a little while i do want him back i don't want him to just be gone forever because of this because he is trying to make good he got caught but he is trying to make good on it it seems like so i would it would be really unfortunate um if we had another permanent panelist on terrace house for me sure yeah yeah i feel that and whether or not this was like like if he honestly feels like the things that he says during like the public apology or if he's just like i gotta i gotta do this for the sake of pr I feel like those public apologies in Japan really kind of put a nice a nice point to close the situation or at least move forward from it because mm-hmm. it's like oh they have acknowledged that they have done wrong they have apologized etc whereas like if this just came out and like he never said anything about it I I might feel a little weird if he was then like on the panel with that hanging over him but I th- I think we can move forward from here I definitely think the show will acknowledge it, but I think we can move forward. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. Fingers crossed. If, if anything, it I think it makes me feel weird about watching episodes pre this moment. Cause I mean, cool. like full disclosure, we were supposed to, we were gonna record uh our next normal episode of the show tonight, but we shifted over to covering this because it's such a big deal. But right. when I watched the episode of Terrace House and I saw the hot takes Toku was making, I was like that's cool and all, but at this point, like you're still evading your taxes. Yeah, I mean, I guess he was. You. This was mm. this was a thing for the last three years. So I guess I've never known Tokui not evading taxes <laughs> until today. Right. Exactly. <laughs> right? Oh my um, gosh. Right. When you think about it that way, yeah, that's true. Um, it's uh, it's a crazy thing, man. I mean, you live, you learn. The man's forty four. 
You know, it's a lot of money, though, bro. It's just it, like, it is. It's, it's, a, lot it's a lot of it's, money. It's, it's, it's a lot. It's of a things. metric fuckload, some might say. Um, I just, you know, I just don't. I don't want them off the show, man. I really like the chemistry they have. I think chemistry is really important with the panelists. Yeah, and, I, and so bringing someone into that group dynamic, it it'll never be the same if if it, he's not there. So I want him there, yeah. but I mean, yeah, we we don't hear enough from like. Baba Zono to begin with like I can't yeah. imagine like adding yet another person into that and then having that whole new dynamic because the thing that they have I think makes and we've discussed this in one of our very earliest episodes like how key the panel is to the Terrace House formula mm-hmm. I can't really imagine watching like the show without those breaks and breathers in between mm-hmm. everything where it's like okay let's let's talk about what we just saw from right let's debrief and I, and I think if you took um and i i agree with you guys sentiments by the way if he just apologizes we kind of move forward and just keep going with the show because i enjoy tokui's chemistry that much with the rest of the panel um i think if you took like a bar graph right of all the panelists and you got their general like screen time or the amount of time that they're like kind of taking up uh i guess talking time with the panel i think tokui would be in the lead for the most minutes I feel like Tokui mm, talks the most maybe. out of all the yeah. panelists. He's up there. Yeah, him, especially you and Yama, him, him like and the three you. oldest. Yeah. Yeah, because he always makes up these weird stories, and we're like, what are you? Why I are really you? like that part about him, too. He's the only one that kind of does it. And him and you, particularly, have a great dynamic where they mm. bounce mm-hmm. things off of each other and they role play together, and it's so good. And they did that on the next episode we spoiled, too, which and it was right. a good, good moment. All in all, I mean, Granted, I I know that to- what Tokui did was, I mean, it's pretty it's pretty bad thing to do. I mean, take away that's a lot of tax money and for a very long time. And I mean, he had it coming. If you're evading taxes for that long and in, in what seems like a pretty obvious way, you're gonna get caught. Um, I'm kind of leaning on the whole hyperbole of I mean, he didn't kill someone. <laughs> I guess is what it comes down to, like. Well, no, but I do think there's actual some there's actually a little bit of validity to it, right? Because this, I mean, it's it's absolutely a crime, yeah, right, right. for sure. But it's not going to take but, away from me enjoying the show, is is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, because it's it's not like mm. you know one of the many NFL stars that, by the way, a lot of people still are okay with who beat their spouses. That's much worse. Like that's a, just a, a legitimate <laughs> not, crime against yeah. actual humans. Right. Like, I mean, yeah, like emotionally, physically, personally. Right. To- and they still have a job. But Tokui, he's apologizing, right? It's, and you're right. It is a serious crime, but it's not a violent crime. If there was some violence involved in it, I would definitely have a different attitude towards that um, and my own thoughts. But, yeah, I think that I think that he's doing what needs to be done. And I definitely think there could be a period of time where he might not be on Terrace House for a while. He might be suspended. He might have house arrest. That is yeah, that a very real possibility. Yeah. Yeah. How, so he might just be off the show and they may or may not welcome him back. So we have to prepare for that. We won't know yet. It's too soon. Mm-hmm. We, we don't know. We don't know. I would watch if Yama stabbed someone. I feel like that's just an eventuality. <gasps> what? Yes. No. The no hell. I get that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, is he the Joker now? <laughs> Nani? No, it's you, just like you. It's, can you do me a favor when you introduce me? Can you call me Yama? <laughs> <laughs> On that note, yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I just think this is one of those things that it sucks. We might have to deal with some repercussions, but I don't think it's it's gonna end up ruining the show if he returns. Yeah. No, I, right. I want to be back. okay, I guys. No, yeah. I mean, yeah. I want to be a pretty okay. valuable part of the Terrace House discussion. So I hope. Yeah. And so, yeah, start. in summation here, we want to hear your thoughts. You know, drop a comment below. Um, you know, we want to hear, again, what you guys think. Uh, do you want him back? Do you forgive him? Do you hate him forever? Do you want someone new? Uh, you know, all opinions are valid and we just want to know. So let us know. Yeah. Because. It depends on where you are and where you're from and all that, right? But some people might be more forgiving than others, especially since Tokui has earned our goodwill for the past three years and such, mm. right? So I don't know. Um, that that should wrap us up around here, though. Uh, 
if if you are not familiar with what we normally do here, we normally cover. It's not this. We ain't good at yeah. news. <laughs> it's not well, yeah. this. It it is every, you it's not right now. You feel like the it, fucking e network, e news network up like, here. Oh, it's entertainment happening. tonight. Yeah, Terrace House. <laughs> Like, hey, like real talk, this was a very serious discussion, but it took us about as long as this episode is to get in the right mindset to record it because yeah. we normally mm. have a lot more fun on this show and where we'd like to because we normally just watch the actual Terrace House episodes, dissect them, do a deep dive, give hot takes, maybe cold takes. But, you know, we feel that this was a really serious topic in the Terrace House lore <laughs> yeah i'm really well, not prepared to talk community. about this but <laughs> yes no but yeah. but it deserved to be acknowledged and that's why we we did this yeah tonight. and we're gonna keep you yes. up that's to, why we did this up to speed with uh any new developments that comes out so just be yeah. if you're if this interests mm. you just listen to future episodes i'm sure we'll we'll probably open up if anything develops with this mm. news or we'll open up the next few episodes with any news that comes out basically yeah basically if you like terrace house fucking subscribe and come with us on this journey. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> fucking subscribe. Fucking subscribe. You say it too, Colin. Fu- fucking subscribe. Smash that like button. Oh, Woo! God. Why'd okay. you have no. to go that far? Anyway. I hate this. But now that yeah. everyone's left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're going to wrap this up here. But I don't know. Check back on Tuesdays. That's when we normally post. We'll see you Tuesday. Bye. If you enjoy our show, please like, comment, and subscribe, and ding that bell to receive notifications when we publish new content. Follow us on social media and check out our brand new Discord server, linked in the description below. See you there.